Strategically, what is the weak point that you see in your argument? It seemed like when you weren't in class doing your work, you were talking about the debate. It is the creation of an even larger problem. The only viable solution at our disposal is to grant local school boards the ability to deny. How are we gonna prove that we should, public schools in America should have the ability to deny undocumented students? It's a challenge, right? If we win that argument, we really win. Yeah, yeah, because If we lose, that's two losses in a row. Yeah, we can't have you that. can't have that. It's good to be on the stage with Harvard, but it's much better to be on the stage, stage with Harvard and win. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're here to debate a very serious topic that deals with our undocumented children. They currently find themselves trapped at the nexus of two dysfunctional systems, our nation's immigration law and public school systems. There's an enormous opportunity cost to not educating these undocumented students. As is well known, there is a huge tie between education and income in the future. Students who have not completed a high school degree earn $10,300 less than high school graduates. The result of this is a high cost of society as these students are essentially forced into a cycle of unemployment, crime, and poverty. These children end up in poor schools. Indeed, they went on to speak about these children in a very negative manner. These children, if we do not let them in our public schools, will end up as criminals. They will end up as in prison someday. They will fail in life. Let me point out, this is not, this will not result from our proposal. This results from the way things are now. So we were split as a judging panel. There were three judges and it was a two-one split. Uh, and the two-one split was in favor of Bard. Yeah. 